Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the home of rock and roll, Cleveland, Ohio, and Cleveland Browns Stadium. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olton here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other. They study each other. They work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. Come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win. But when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. The veteran kicker, Dustin Hopkins, out to get things started. And off we go from Cleveland. Now return, coming from the 7. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as the result of him being your quarterback. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb, and it'll lead to a second down. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. Oh, intercepted on the second play of the game. Picked by Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa. So anytime a team suffers an early setback like that interception, human instinct says, Mike, we need to get away from our game plan. We need to adjust. I don't think that's the case. There's a lot of game left, a lot of chances to avenge that play and still connect downfield on some of these passes. All proven, though, Mike, they've got to identify what went wrong. Let's correct it so we're able to move forward. The Browns led out by their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The stardom early in Houston. Now his third season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from their opening whistle. Watson going to throw right away. He's got it in the hands of Elijah Moore. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. That's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. That's a gain of 16 yards, and it sets up first and goal. They bring Judy in motion. Here comes the jet sweep, and that is not going to work out as planned. Maybe a tough spot to try to run a play like that. Either way, it's blown up back behind the line of scrimmage. It's back at the eight now for second and goal. Shotgun snap to Watson. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. 
that's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Good job so far by the defense protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. He'll try to run for it. And he will score. Deshaun Watson. Touchdown, Brown. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the Browns will take a 7-0 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to see the football for the second time. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. from the gun. Here's Dak. Back down the field for Lamb. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it. Continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Now a second down throw for Prescott. He's got a man. It's C.D. Lamb. A first catch for last season's NFL reception leader. And it yields a first down. And it doesn't really matter who you put on him, Mike. When you want to play one-on-one -on -one man coverage against a receiver like this, there's not a whole lot else you can do. It's hard to put help over the top because the ball's being thrown out by the sidelines. I like playing in and out. I like playing zone. Somebody underneath, somebody over the top share the responsibility but that's not what they're doing that's straight man coverage quarterback sees the matchup there's no question where the ball is going to go they'll come up now for second down and four what do you think Prescott a pass Caught by the veteran, that's Brandon Cooks. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. To the outside, looked in by Lamb. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pick up of five and sets up second and five. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. He'll find his tight end. That's Jake Ferguson. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. 
They'll have to go the full 10 yards with first and goal. They'll throw again. Dak. This one caught at the four. And he will get into the end zone. Brandon Cooks. Touchdown, Dallas. And this is what good offenses in the NFL do, Mike. It's the ability to bounce back, even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan. Everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown. But it's not always going to be perfect. You turn it over on possession one. What are you going to do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer, and they took it down for six. Aubrey is good with the extra point. And the Cowboys will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. So back to level after the touchdown. Time for the kickoff. Pierre Strong on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Browns offense ready to take over for their second possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. gun Watson that's caught downfield by Cooper and they will bring him down on the other side of midfield those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day and you can see pre-snap the quarterback loved his matchup he allowed his receiver to work downfield perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points so they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll run. This is Jerome Ford. He'll get in behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. Trayvon Diggs in on the tackle. Second and seven. to throw is Watson that's to the former Bronco it's Jerry Judy third and a yard throwing is Watson He's got the hook up there to Cooper. And it looks like he's going to have a first down. Nothing fancy there. Short completion, but it yields a fresh set of downs. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching and he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. And he'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early. 
And that last pickup leads to a first down. A gain of 11, and it's first and goal. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. All even on the scoreboard. And we're back to Cleveland in a minute. From six yards out, it's first and goal. throw right side taken by Najoku recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for that's where your hot receiver comes in he points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of that guy comes gets the ball out of his hand and results in a completion now a handoff to four not a lot of room to work there. Well played by the defense. And they set themselves up for third and goal. From the shotgun, here's Watson. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Amari Cooper was the man he was looking for. And it'll be fourth and goal coming up. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do. And, man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away here comes a return from the three nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line the cowboys offense and veteran brandon cooks getting set for this next possession this one has been tight so far a field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten Pistol now for Prescott. Catch is made. That is Schoonmaker. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. A shotgun snap for Prescott. A quick slash taken by Lamb. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. First and 10. Yeah, going to work it to Lamb on the RPO. 
We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. That's catch three just on this drop, and it gets his team a first down. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a... Kevin Stefanski taking exception to that last call, and he's going to throw the challenge flag. Is under At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around, he has control, so that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's going to have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. Dak can throw it here on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. So after back-to-back -back incompletions, it is now third and ten. To the air again, Prescott. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. Miles Garrett, the all-pro, there to bring him down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Fourth down, it is pro bowler Brandon Aubrey for the Dallas field goal. This a 46-yard attempt. Aubrey's kick is good. And the Cowboys will level the score at 10 apiece. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. So, the field goal ties things up, and we're back at it as this kicks away. On the return, this is strong. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Browns' offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10. Starts with a carry by four. He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. The veteran Eric Hendricks on the stop. Here 
here's second and six. They'll run once more with four. And he'll weave his way down close to that first down. Going to come up just a little shy. It's going to be third down and short. Try and run for the first down. It's four. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. So, first and ten here now at the 38. Again, it's four. And the defense all over this one. They knock them down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. To throw on second down is Watson. Two minutes to play here in what's been an even first half. We'll have more from Cleveland after this. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Here's Watson. He's got his man complete. That's Judy. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Watson now on first down. This is brought in downfield by Judy. What a connection. He's down inside the five-yard line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. From the four-yard line, trying to punch it in. First down and goal. Throwing again is Watson. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Deshaun Watson. Touchdown, Cleveland. His second TD of the game. And this one gives his team the lead. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. Extra point up and good from Hopkins. And the Browns go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this one taken at the seven and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Cowboys offense getting set to get back to work find themselves trailing 17 to 10 now as they come up with first down and 10 
From the shotgun, it's Dak. Over the middle to his tight end, Ferguson. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Here's first and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. That's to Ferguson once again. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. First down throw for Prescott. To the left side, caught by Lamb. Now breaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the time. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. He'll try again here, second and ten. Again, Prescott to the air. The open man is Tolbert. And they're going to have a first down and are well into field goal range now at the 16. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And that's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. With just one second remaining in the first half, they get the timeout. for the field goal now it's Brandon Aubrey officially this will be a 43 yarder he is two for two that kick is good and the Cowboys are able to cut it to four 17 to 13 okay Mike thank you more from you and Greg in a moment but for now welcome one and all to our EA Sports halftime report these two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Quarter set to commence, and we're back underway here on EA Sports. This taken at the five, and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line. The Browns offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The lead sits at four, so he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. It'll make the read and holds on. And he'll get this up to about the 28. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. They face second down and seven. They'll run with four. He'll manage only a couple. 
Demarcus Lawrence there on the stop. Here now, third and five. Watch it. Here's a screen set up for four. They had the right play call. The screen goes for 15. And a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And there wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. They bring Judy in motion. They'll get creative here on the jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. A loss of two brings up second and 12 at the 43-yard line. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. A play fake. Now Watson to throw. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Out of the gun, Watson. Toward the middle, that's caught by Moore. It'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield, down to the 40-yard line. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. They bring Judy in motion. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Parsons on the tackle. It's a loss of two. Brings up second and 12 at the 42-yard line. Here's a second and 12. Najoku, the tight end, is the one in motion. And the back judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the clock. Clock says zero. That's a delay of game. Still second down again. On the handoff, four. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Third and long. Now Watson. They'll look to set up the screen here. And that screen slow to develop, and they rally to the ball and stop him. That will be no gain on the screen. Not the worst play call there. I actually like third down screen game, especially when you're anticipating some pressure, an over-aggressive defense who's selling out to get to the quarterback. In this case, not a lot of room to operate. They don't convert. Brings up fourth down. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The Cowboys offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They trail by four. Touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Pressure 
mascot now. And he does a nice job to avoid the initial wave. They're going to get him down behind the line. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. This defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. They'll run Zeke up the middle. And he'll take this to about the 28. Miles Garrett able to bring him down. What can they do here on third down and seven? Throwing is Prescott. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and they bring him down for a sack. So on fourth down, here comes the veteran, Brian Anger. On the return, it's Moore. And he'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. this drive on the ground with four and he's going to be taken down right at midfield so as we take a look at the box score mike you realize here they got the lead we're in the second half but they don't have a lot of rush yards it's because they use the passing game to score points and establish the lead now how we judge their run game is from here to the end of the game can they pile up yards now in the second half and close this game out He's going to run it. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. Here's second and nine. Throwing is Watson. This one caught by Aiken. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. So we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a third down and four. From the shotgun, here's Watson. That's caught. It's the tight end, Najuku. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Well, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but anytime on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player, and I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. Here's four. Down the sideline, inside the 25. A gain of 17 yards. First down, Cleveland. Fourth quarter, you find yourself protecting a one-possession lead. It's a fine line, Mike, between do I keep the ball on the ground, continue to work the clock, 
or stay aggressive. Try to extend this lead to a multiple possession game. That's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss, but not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss, but it still stopped for no game. Watson going to get this one out to Cooper. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Man, what a big time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. On third down, here's four. comes Dustin Hopkins in a pressure situation. This to stretch the lead to a touchdown. And this one right down the middle. It's good. A big three points as they extend their fourth quarter lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Cavante Turpin on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here. And everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Cooks going in motion. First down, Prescott. This pass right side, caught by Lamb. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Here's a second and six. Now Prescott going to make the read and keep it himself. And maybe the quarterback should have given that one away. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. A lot of defensive strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances to have the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no game. On third down, Prescott. And that's a veteran quarterback doing what veterans do. Don't take the extra hit. Got the first down, get down. The drive continues. A gain there of 13 yards. Anytime a quarterback decides to tuck it and turn himself into a runner, you can just feel the sideline hold their breath. They're just hoping that he gets down, picks up enough for the first down, but more importantly, protects himself so he can get himself back up and continue on. 
A quick slant taken by Lamb. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Play action now. Prescott. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows it. Kevin Stefanski taking exception to that last call, and he's going to throw the challenge flag. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control, so that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge, unsuccessful, and they are out of challenges now for the remainder of the game. Sure, they're thinking about the decision after the touchdown since they're down seven, but first they've got to get the TD. It is first down and goal. There's that man again, another catch. And a good job to make sure he didn't get loose. Brought down around the seven. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. He'll throw again. Dak. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And he's going to be hit and taken down. They got him with a big-time rush. And it will lead to a turnover on downs. And this is a tricky call for this coach. A field goal doesn't do you a lot of good, but a touchdown does. So I don't hate the call, but great job by this defense coming up with a stand and getting the ball back. The Browns offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll give it, and it's four. Big gain on the ground here as he takes this up past the 40-yard line. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They'll go back to forward on first down. Not much develops there. We'll get this to about the 43. He 
Here's a second and nine. From the shotgun, give to four. And he'll get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up. They'll drop to throw. He's got his man complete. That's Judy. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. set of downs to work with it is first down and 10 the defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterbacks down to an E the run one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up that is a worrisome development here late in the game after losses on the last two run plays they face third down and 14. the ground this is four they try the same thing and a similar result back to the line of scrimmage no game here comes fourth down defensive coaches preach every day mike swarm to the ball get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible and this is a great reason why the ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no game now, on comes Dustin Hopkins in a pressure situation. This to make it a two-possession lead. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And that could be big. They now take a two-score advantage. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So it will come out to the 30. The visitors' offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Get started with first and 10. Shotgun snap for Prescott. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Another try, second and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. That's complete to Elliott. And he's brought down, but they are out of timeouts. 
so is to win for the Browns. And it was their defense that led the way as they picked the shutout in the second half. No points allowed. And they cruise to victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The dog pounds happy. It's a win for the Browns. As we say farewell from Cleveland.